Hello. In this video, we're going to do a flat plate radar placement procedure. Let's navigate down to that flat plate and begin the procedure. Again, as usual, we'll start with that home position. Always follow the on-screen instructions and graphics to ensure that you're in the proper location. You'll know this because the targets will go green on the wheels. We'll get the next or K4 green. We'll go ahead and verify that we have enough clear space in front of the vehicle to complete the calibration. This will be indicated by green laser lines and red laser dots. Look at the graphic on the screen, which will help connect the dots and make a box. Now we'll check for clear space for the actual target tower. The sensor tower will rise up and point two red lasers on the floor where the tower will be positioned. During floor height clear space check, there could potentially be an obstruction where the dots cannot hit the floor. In this example, you can see the dots are on the tower. Simply move the tower. Once the system has gained vision of both targets on one axle, you'll get a green floor plane. At this point, you may advance in the procedure. During the floor height measurement, you will notice both dots are going to blink. This is a floor measurement. Do not block those red dot lasers during this step. After the floor height measurement has been taken, align the red dots on the floor with the white laser reflectors and the base of the ultimate ADAS tower. When you have achieved the red laser in one of those reflectors, simply release the brake on the side that you have achieved the dot in the reflector and pivot the other side in until the reflector is illuminated by the laser and release the brake. Now we're ready to mount the flat plate. Note that I've already pushed the carriages together to mount the flat plate. Once the flat plate is mounted, You'll notice that on the graphic, you will get a green check mark. This is another great time to use that handheld remote. We can go ahead and hit next. Height will automatically adjust. Again, with that handheld remote, I'll be able to advance to a lateral adjustment. Simply follow that on-screen graphic, moving the flat plate to the right until my bar graph gives me green and check marks. Once I get those green check marks, I'll continue to next. We'll get a slight adjustment, if any. And now we're ready to use the scan tool to complete the calibration.